let us discuss this example in this example we have to find the value of this triple integral see in previous videos already we have seen how to solve double integration so same technique we follow for triple integration also actually both of them are iterated integral so we should follow the same method to solve them okay so what we do first we solve the inner integral after getting its value we go for outer integral and then we go for outermost integral okay so this method we follow to solve this one see in this example the inner integration is with respect to y the middle integral is with respect to x and the outer integral with respect to z okay so let us start to solve this example so this is equal to 6 is a constant so we can take outside the integral so we can write here 6 integration 0 to 1 integration 0 to z integration 0 to x plus z we have x z dy dx dz okay so this is equal to 6 integration 0 to 1 okay see uh, z is a constant for this inner integral since inner integration with respect to y so z will come outside the middle integral is with respect to x getting so that z is constant for middle integral also so it will come outside here okay and the outer integration with respect to z so that's why it will be a variable there so i should write z here integration 0 to z after that x is constant for inner integral since inner integration with respect to y x will come outside so middle integral with respect to x so it will be a variable there so i should write x here and so innermost integration is integral integration 0 to x plus z we have dy dx and dz let us solve it further so this is equal to 6 integration 0 to 1 z integration 0 to z x you know that integration of dy is y so let me write here y with limit 0 to x plus z dx and dz let us continue it here okay so this is equal to 6 integration 0 to 1 z integration 0 to z we have what will I do? I will put upper limit, lower limit. If I put upper limit, we will have x plus z here. If you put lower limit 0, we will have 0. So no need to consider lower limit. Let me put just upper limit only. So x, x plus z, okay, right? And we have here dx and outer integral uh, with respect to z. So 6 integration 0 to 1 z. 0 to z let me simplify it we will solve the bracket okay and then we will integrate right so we will have x square plus xz dx dz so now let us integrate okay so we have solved a bracket now we will integrate so this is equal to 6 integration 0 to 1 z integration of x square is x cube by 3 since we are integrating with respect to x when you integrate the second term, z is a constant, it will be as it is. Integration of x is x square by 2. So let me write here. So this is x square z by 2 with limit 0 to z dz. This is equal to 6 integration 0 to 1. Now we will put upper limit. After that, we will put lower limit. If I put z here at a place of z x, we will have z cube by 3 plus here z square into z, z cube by 2. If I put lower limit 0, we will have 0. No need to put. Okay. So, uh, I will write simply dz. 6 integration 0 to 1. Tell me, can we take z cube common? Yes, definitely we can take z cube common. So, I am taking z cube common and dz. That means z is to 4. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 dz. 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2. That means we can cross multiply and we will have 5 by 6. That 5 by 6 is a constant. We can take it outside. So this 6 into 5 by 6 integration. Okay, I will directly integrate. We have only one function that is z raised to 4. We can easily find its uh, integration. Its integration is z raised to 5 by 5 with limit 0 to 1. So what will happen? This 6, 6 will get cancelled. This 5, 5 also will get cancelled. That means simply we will have z raised to 5 with limit 0 to 1 all remaining const constants will get cancelled to each other. If I put upper limit, we will have 1 raised to 5, which is 1, you know. And if I put 0, 0 raised to 5 is 0. So the final answer will be 1. So this is a required answer, okay. Make a screenshot of it, then we will stop.
थैंक यू बाय बाय